Hello everybody. Um, so today I've seen a lot of you been talking about tables. Um, let me share what's the best practice I think right now um, in Figma um, of creating a table. Right. So first of all, you go search in community and you type in next level table. Right. So and you will see this file I've created uh, last year. So and then you click on duplicate. Wait the file to load. And you will see a table. Very simple. All right. This is actually a instance. And what you're going to do with it is, first of all, you need to install this plugin if you haven't. Now, you can click on it and it will bring you to the uh, plugin install page. So I've already have it installed, as you can see here. But if you haven't, please click here. OK, make sure the plugin is installed is uh, instance util. So what it does basically is it allows you um, to manipulate instances in a way that just wasn't possible in Figma. All right. So now let's go back to Figma after you've installed the plugin. And uh, I've I have had the plugin uh, assigned to a shortcut so I can just uh, launch it like this. And if you already have the table selected, you can simply go ahead and click on setup. So what it does is it simply created a controller role for you to um, quickly manipulate everything column by column. So very quickly, you can already start um, rearranging the cells like these and the whole column will follow just by dragging them, right? Um, make sure that you're dragging the cells in the table row controller, not anywhere else, right? Um, that's not all. You can also resize the um, individual columns uh, as you wish, right? like this and uh, by default I also have the grids enabled so the way you do that if you don't see these grids you press ctrl G right you press ctrl G and it will show and hide the grid for you so which makes it easier for you to adjust uh, individual uh, columns to the exact value you're looking for right now here's the thing this whole table is actually built on top of and is an open source. So to unlock more perks, you, you're actually going to have to enable and is an open source library. So uh, all right, let's press option three. Uh, so on a Windows computer, you need to press Alt three, okay, to open this uh, library panel. And in here, we're going to enable and is an open source library. So make sure that switched on and make sure that you can C and design open source components show up in the access panel like this. OK, so now let's say I want to have this first column switch to checkbox. So I'm just going to type table checkbox. OK, the first one and let's resize to fit the first column. That's it. Once you're happy with the layout, you can start mock up some text. In my case, I'm just going to run another plugin I've wrote um, to make more text. So one thing I have to tell you is that if you want to um, have more columns or more rows, OK, you're just going to um, copy this whole table instance and just change to the desired amount of columns or rows that you feel like you're going to need. OK, so and then you open up instance U tools and you click set up. OK, so and let me show you everything is still the same. So let's say, for instance, I want this to be status. So this whole column became status. Let's say I want this uh, column to be input. I can just type uh, table input and this whole column became input, uh, which I can then resize and even drag around. <laughs> this is very cool, right? But that's not all of it. Uh, there's there's way more things you can do, of course, right? So let's uh, drag yet another copy of the instance and let's make it expandable, okay? So 
uh, what you're going to see is that in the first column, it will show a bunch of plus uh, buttons. Uh, let's uh, actually wrap this inside of a frame with uh, clip content. You'll see what I mean later. And let's actually set this up. Um, so now everything is still the same. Let's say if I want to um, change this column to checkbox, um, we're just going to type, let's say, more checkbox. And what's cool about it is that, see, I can, I can have the whole role just checked by switching uh, a single variant, right? That's the power of Fendizan Open Source. Um, also, you can expand certain um, you can expand certain um, rows if you feel like it, um, and it doesn't affect what uh, this column is displaying. So, for instance, I want this column to display switch. You can see uh, whether it's expanded or not; it still works as expected, right? So. Um, you can also, uh, for instance, for this table header, you create a sort and you create a filter. You can even set it to sort active and it will set this whole uh, column to be sort active. Um, you can also um, now, because the whole table is row based, which means that you can actually make uh, even odd rows very easily, um, you can just select um, every other row and just give them a fill color. Let me actually disable grids. And there you go, that's your even odd row. <laughs> you can't be simpler. So, there you go. This is some of the things that Next Level Table brings to the table. There's a lot more that you can do with it, but I won't spoil all the fun. I'll leave you to explore. So thank you for listening. It's been Mr. Biscuit. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.